Three legs in a row. Suddenly, the tide turns and Mardle wades in. I tell you what, John, that was a brilliant leg. Mardle won it in 11 darts after Wade hit back to back maximums. 53. Terrific tungsten from both players. 3 0 Mardle. 5-3 Wade, now it's 6-5 Mardle, where's your 10p? 100! <laughs> A little bit more than 10 I put on, it's 15p in my case, but I'll tell you what, that is your dead right. 16. Perfect example of why we emphasise the player throwing first having the advantage, despite the fact that Wade hit those two 180s to start with. He was always going to be behind as long as Mardle hit his scores, and they didn't have to be 180s. Just those will do. And they come down for the 25 with trouble 15. It looks like being six apiece. Yes, and then perhaps nerves can start to take a hold. Although I think they're so deep into this contest now, perhaps all. Oh, well, he's hit the double first up here. Bottled it before. And that's the professionalism of these men, you know. Can't hit a double to save their lives in one leg. But then the 180s and the doubles come free flowing after that. As though. They'd never had any problem at all. 16. I thought he might have come downstairs or switched to uh, to 18s there. Two blocker darts. Mardle is doing. Really Wonderful contest to start us off on this week six. Some great games to come, of course, culminating in Barnevelt 16. against Taylor. But look at it, the mass crowds from Nottinghamshire. 132. Yeah, that was good thinking. He has left to finish. 170. Yet to see it in this year's Premier League. We've seen it many times in the three when previous you ones. 170. Only 60, but looks as though it may well be Mardle who'll be going into the final leg of the match. 60. Ahead, and remember, after nine legs, I was saying he'd be delighted if this match went into the deciding leg, or into the deci uh, last leg, it, I should say. Oh, another brilliant, brilliant finish for Mardle. He really has held it together when when he might have buckled. Now, a ton 40 here, Mr. Mardle would be handy. What a mess. What a mess. Uh, just when he needed to hold his concentration, he comes up 125. I might suggest this is a much more important leg for Mardle than for Wade. Much as though, uh, obviously, Wade would like to gain a point from this. He has six already under his belt. Mardle desperately really needs two points from this match rather than one. Wade would benefit nicely from one point. He would be guaranteed a staying in the top four 100. at the end of tonight. Of course, it, it, it could be top, John. So if Taylor beats Barnevel, uh, this is the better response. Well, Still in there with a chance to say that little stat we talked about before. This is his 30th match in the Premier League. He's won just four. 16. Is this going to be number five? Well, you'll certainly see a display of marble delight if it is. Oh! Disappointed that he didn't get the lot, even so, a chance for Mardle, unless that's... Oh, double 11 to 7 all the game! Yeah. Mardle was holding his breath, now then, is this the moment? 
Which way is he going to go? He went for double 18. He had his chance. He hasn't taken it. Is this going to be 7-7? Seven, seven? Well, two darts for double four for a seven all draw. James Wade now wants double two. He gets it. A magnificent first match of the night. A round of applause from Wayne Bardell. Two men share the spoils. Seven legs apiece. After last week, Wayne, that whitewash by Taylor, that must have been a, a real lift for you, the way you played tonight. Well, it was, uh, it was winning the first leg. After that, I know I couldn't get any worse than last week, but uh, no, he, he missed a couple of chances and uh, it was a draw, and I'm over the moon with a draw, so never mind, fella. <laughs> what did you feel about the, the way you played in the game as a whole? Uh, you know, sometimes the circumstances aren't correct. Um, but, you know, I made the most of the opportunities I had. Uh, Wayne missed a couple of shots as well as I did. 7-0, uh, not bad. There's some great moments. There was one when you, you got two 180s, you got an 11 data to win the leg in leg 11. It was never in doubt that I was going to win that, to be honest. <laughs> if you believe that, it was a load of rubbish. Uh, two 180s, and uh, if he missed the 141, it was, I was going to have a shot 81. And uh, I got it in two, so... With, with this quality of darts, that's what happens, but uh, you've got to put your doubles away. And tonight, we, we both missed a few, so, yeah, probably 7-0 was, was fair, but I'm more happy than him, because, uh, as you said, it doubled my tally. So. <laughs> but joking aside, you know, a, a couple of wins, and you could be right back in the mix again. Well, no, that's why I, I, I'm not beating myself up, because I know that I'm playing OK, but I'm, I'm just missing doubles. I'm missing crucial... I'm tightening up. There was, there was a, a leg there. I can't remember what I wanted, but I, as I'm throwing for the... It was a 96 in the last leg. I'm thinking, just a nice treble. As I go to let go, it's like... <laughs> yeah. It's a complete mess. It's a mess. If my mum was to do that, I'd say, what you doing, you silly moo? But that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. And, James, you're really challenging for this top spot now. Second position, level on points with Barney's. It's looking good for you so far. Um, I'm challenging just as much as everyone else. Um, like I say, Wayne tonight, me and Wayne had a great game. They're the hardest ones to win the games that me and Wayne had tonight. Um, got most respect for him. Um, I want to challenge the top spot just as much as everyone else. You know. Good performance from both of you. Ladies and gentlemen, James Wade and Wayne Mardle.